Hi, welcome to the OBD2 Basics. In today's episode I will show you how to find your OBD2 port. And keep in mind that not all cars have OBD2 system installed, so you might not have the OBD2 port. But if your car is younger than 25 years, you most likely have this system installed in your car. There are a few common locations you should check. The most common location will be under the steering wheel, which is also the case in this Toyota. See, there is a white OBD2 part. Just like that, and my scanner is connected. Now, keep in mind that the OBD part will not be just visible like this. Sometimes you can have some plastic cover over it. While location that I just showed you under the steering wheel is very common, it doesn't apply for all cars. If you couldn't find your OBD2 port under the dashboard, the next locations that you would want to check are either somewhere in the center console or center tunnel, under the dashboard from the passenger side, or just look for a fuse box. Often if the OBD2 port is not visible at the first sight, it is hiding somewhere near the fuse box. And I mean the interior fuse box, because you have more fuse boxes. One is in the engine, other one is in interior. And common locations for the fuse boxes are also under the dashboard or under this side panel. Now if you still can't find it, there is a great website that will show you OBD2 port location for your exact car model. I will put link to this website in the description. Okay, so that is everything that I wanted to cover in this video. OBD2 port location, nothing more. I will see you in the next parts of the OBD basics.